The Colombian Creole breeds began to establish themselves in the country since the colony, over time, they have undergone natural selection, they are cattle from Europe, the US and India, constituting and adapting to the conditions of the region. The breed's Colombian Creoles are totally adapted to the low tropics, they are rustic and have high levels of fertility. This allows them to have good yields and meat productivity, they are also ideal for crosses with other breeds, printing their rusticity and adaptability. In this chapter we will talk about two of them, the Chino Santandriano and the Harton del Valle. Join us! Chino Santandriano, named for his short, Chinese or hairless hair, a colloquial Colombian term, it is also believed that the origin of his name comes from the farm called La China and in combination with his region of origin, the department of Santander, Colombia. This breed, together with the Bon, evolved in the Andean zone of medium and warm climates, the color of the coat, like most Creoles, ranges from light yellow to dark red, black skin, mucous membranes and well-pigmented hooves, strong limbs, a fine bone and blackish fur, which also appears around the eyes, head with thin horns, trunk with good body capacity, tail with a high, thin insertion and scarce tassel. It is used as a triple utility animal, meat, milk and work, it combines very well in crosses with Zebu Brahma cattle. Its origin is the mixture of native Spanish breeds existing at the beginning of the 16th century, the mixtures of all of them gave rise, in our environment, to the Colombian Creole breeds, which developed their own physiological characteristics, imposed by the tropical environment in which they live. Evolved. It has been considered that the Chinese Santanderian cattle have their lineages in the Iberian breeds such as the Galician, the Tadanka, and the Pyrenean. Phenotypically, Chinese cattle have some characteristics of their ancestors, however, from the physiological point of view, they have experienced natural selection for approximately 500 years, which highlights their biological and economic role within the livestock context of the region. The most frequent color is sullen and is distinguished by a red-brown color with dark or burnt extremities up to above the knees and hocks. The head is dark or burnt and the mucous membranes are black, the ears, eyes, hooves, etc. are also black. The tassel of the tail and the end of the scrotum. The hide of the cattle is abundant, soft, loose and pliable with a medium-sized dewlap and well-proportioned, trimmed bias. The head has a primitive appearance, it has a wide forehead, a small or medium-sized flat forehead, it has a calm and noble appearance, a straight profile and a fine, lean and expressive face, thin, thin horns, white with black tips directed towards outside. The orbits are somewhat protruding and separate, pigmented conjunctiva and with very defined wrinkles, which surround the lively and expressive eyes. The ears are oval, mobile, clean and thin, the same color as the body in bay animals and very dark in sullen ones. The snout is well shaped and wide and the jaws strong, with firm pots. The neck is strong, of medium length, well implanted in the trunk with a moderately developed dewlap, highly developed cervical muscles in the male, the withers are strong and closed in harmony with the back. The back is strong, but somewhat saddled in some animals, a little more raised at the rear at the level of the croup. The trunk with harmonic barrel is long and voluminous, which highlights its body capacity and vigorous appearance. The croup is quite wide and slightly raised in relation to the back of the animal, the sacrum and therefore the root of the tail are raised. 
The loin is quite straight, long and fleshy in the male and somewhat lean in the female, the buttocks are full in the male and with good space for the udder in the female and the tail with high detachment, thin of medium length, emaciated in its base and with a very scarce or devoid tassel. The members of medium length are well plumbed, of fine bone and provided with strong hooves. Physiological qualities basically refer to the animal's own constitution and qualities derived from it. Chinese Santanderian cattle are characterized by having a vigorous and healthy constitution, being the result of natural selection through years of evolution. It is well known that its adaptability has been developed over years of evolution, in mountainous areas where these cattle are raised and at high temperatures, animals with symptoms of heat stress, so common in the breeds of temperate zones, are not found. It is due to the body conformation that it has acquired, such as its thin and short hair that are signs of its organic efficiency in the fight against environmental heat. Another point of adaptability deals with the ability that the animal has created to withstand the poverty of the soils and therefore of the pastures, which are observed in the rugged topography of the Department of Santander. The Chinese Santanderiano cattle has created the capacity to digest coarse forages, supplying the basic needs for survival, generally the adapted breeds are characterized by the following signs of efficiency. Minimal stress against adverse factors, high profitability in relation to nutrition management costs, high tolerance to diseases, especially parasitic diseases, longevity, low mortality, low morbidity, high fertility. Colombian Creole breeds play an important role in the country's forms of production. The Chino Santanderiano is a breed that has been adapting for years through natural selection and offers very good results to farmers who manage it. In low tropics. The Harton of the Valley. The area of influence of Harton is the fertile valley of the Cauca River with a height above sea level between 950 and 1,450 meters, with a hot dry climate and average rainfall of 900 millimeters. The angular general conformation indicates aptitude for milk production. Also presents phenotypic similarity with the Creole breed Chino Santandriano, for which the tonality of the coat varies from bay to cherry red but they also appear sullen and gray, the head is medium with lyre-shaped horns, tail inserted high that produces greater pelvic amplitude, facilitating childbirth, as happens in other Creole breeds. It is the dairy breed and was the Creole genetic base for the formation of the synthetic Lucerne breed. The Spaniards during the colonial era arrived at the geographical valley of the Cauca River, especially from the south, derived from the descendants of the cattle brought from Quito, Ecuador, by Balalcazar. Around the year 1540, some specimens brought to Cali also arrived along the Dagua Road, coming from Spain and Nicaragua via Panama. This breed had its settlement in the geographical valley of the Cauca River, in the department of Valle del Cauca, Colombia. At this latitude, it has an average altitude of 950 meters above sea level, an average temperature of 24 degrees Celsius and a rainfall that ranges between 644 to 1636 millimeters per year, with the rainy periods being the months of April, May and September to November, its classification corresponds to tropical dry forest. Following the classification established by the association, it has been said as follows. Type A, 
for those that meet the racial phenotypic characteristics for purebred animals. Type B, animals with moderate differences to the established pattern. Type C, animals that show large differences with the pattern. The purpose of the above is to broaden the base for the organization of a greater number of females in the multiplication of the breed, favoring the absorption process, the males or bulls are only classified and registered as type A. Its general appearance is of medium size and length, its head is straight or subconcave in profile, horns of moderate diameter and length, variable orientation, artificial or natural mole, oval and alert ears, small to medium size, with or without quantity. Hair moderate. His neck emaciated, jowls and little or moderate rough. Back and loin, long, wide, strong, level and without protrusions, long, wide haunch almost level, tail and tassel harmoniously attached to the sacrum, emaciated or thin, finished with a black or brown tassel, with moderate or scarce hair. Its fur is from light yellow to bay, to reddish cherry, or, with a mixture of black hairs forming sullen or barcinaduras, white spots of reduced extension on the panties and or foreskin, fine, short or medium hairs and shiny dark black or brownish skin, loose, thin and oily. It has a docile, calm temperament, which allows it to be domesticated, making it easy to handle. From the traditional system of grazing and milking with calves, it has been transcended to conditions of confinement and milking without calves and by machine. Its development and physiology are consistent with the degree of adaptability to tropical environments, and also as it has not yet gone through an adequate selection process for earliness, its response is not as spectacular as in highly selected breeds for this characteristic, however, the weights of the calves at weaning at 8 months are quite good, 180 kilos for females and 200 kilos for males, and if they are continued with an adequate handling and feeding system, they reach significant development and weights, 280 kilos in females and 300 kilos in males at 18 months of age. Colombian Creole breeds are adapted to the region and to a dry tropical climate, which means that they are excellent options for national livestock production due to their hardiness and easy handling.